Hello, I'm Jason Skill. This is Painting with Skill Watercolour Lesson 16. This lesson looks at basic principle of thinking about creating land like you're creating pieces in a stage. So what I've done here is I've created, well, first of all I've created a mock-up little front of a stage with people and curtains and a cardboard, leaving some gaps at the side. What I'm going to do here is use these sections of staging that I've created, again with some cardboard and drawn on them as if they're pieces of land, and I'm just going to slide them in. What I want to do here is to make sure that everything is basically horizontal, like they're just coming flat onto the stage. So let's, let's do this to just to illustrate what I'm talking about. Bring it in from the left hand side of the stage. Here's a bit of stage set. And then from the right hand of the stage, another bit of stage set. So you imagine that people, the actors, can sort of walk here and then can walk around it. So if I wanted to add greater sense of depth in the stage production, I can bring in some further bits of staging which people have to walk around that gives the illustration of depth. This is the most basic way that you would kind of create landscape if you're trying to make landscape up with very simple uh, sections of land that you bring in which predominantly are flat at their base. So when I've made these pieces, they are flat at the bottom. So let's imagine that we're going to do the same sort of thing but we're going to make a little picture. From the right hand start side, I'm going to bring in a little bit of land. And what I'm going to do is grade these here. You can see on my right hand side that I've graded them from uh, smallest to kind of largest. So let's have another piece of land that comes in front of it. Now this time I'm going to drop it in front of it, but I'm just going to very slightly overlap it. So one slightly sits on the last. This will give you a sense of this dropping down, going back as a straight line that's horizontal, dropping down and then going back in a straight line. Think about that when you're making uh, landscape pieces that you may want to paint them out, draw them back as a flat and then do another one in front of it and then as a flat. So let's come in from the other side, a little bit lower. Again, we're coming in, horizontal, and then in front of it we're going to slide another piece. This time I'm going to slide it in front of it. Now if I wanted to drop it down so I can show a little bit of that coming out, dropping back flat, coming out, dropping back flat. You can see how it creates depth. It's as if we can come in here and then go out and then round, say this is the sea or a lake, and then off. So just like the actors, we were kind of thinking about how we might move through that landscape. Let's put another one in front of that. Again, I'll just overlap it a bit. So now we've got that one behind that one behind that one. This is still flat, or should be, if I've placed it correctly. And then, let's imagine that this one's much, much nearer to us. We'll overlap this one in front of that. And the last one, we will come in and overlap. So that becomes fully into the foreground. Now, I found that that is one of the easiest ways to think through the construction of landscape. That you basically create something that has a shape and then is flat on the bottom. And you think in that shape and then you overlap them. This allows you to think in different ways. Sometimes people find it easier to come, say, from the right in because they're right-handed. Some people who are left-handed may find it easier to come in from the left. And you're constructed on what you think is, is the easiest for you. So you can play with sizes as well. Sometimes it could be a big bit that comes in, and then it may be a small bit that overlaps. It doesn't always have to be from large to small. We could have another one. Drop back. Now here I'm dropping back from large, so I'm basically coming back and back and back. That way we get a sense of recession in that way. But you could also come forward. So let's now think, well actually now I'll dare ourselves to come forwards and then maybe it can come all the way forwards to the other side. And you play with this principle on basically drawing and creating landscapes. 
In the next uh, episode, what we'll do is take this basic principle and we'll apply it to how you would do it when you're, when you're painting.